Hi, welcome back to Solar Hot Water TV. I'm here alongside Dean Bell of Action Man Plumbing, who's our head plumber and the director of operations. I'd like to introduce you to him today. Dean, tell us about yourself. Well, I'd like to start with, uh, you know, just my experience that uh, I've had out in the field. Um, I'm 16 years journeyman plumber. I uh, went to Clackamas Community College for four years from my apprenticeship program in Oregon. Um, Oregon has more of an extensive program than they do in Washington, so, you know, you're required to go to college. Right. And, uh, you know, I've been commercial, uh, residential. Um, I've been service uh, for residential commercial for going on nine years now of my plumbing experience. Um, you know, just really fascinated with the solar and uh, so now I've been solar for going on two years. Um, so you could be considered an expert plumber you from know, a plumbing standpoint? I am actually. I do consider me an expert plumber. Um, I'm actually a master plumber. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, which is once you have 10 years of experience, um, then they consider you a master plumber. It actually is on my license as a master plumber. Okay. So Dean, when he talks about plumbing, um, he knows what he's talking about. How did you get into solar hot water? Uh, solar hot water uh, actually came through my wife. My wife and uh, I were, were really environmentally conscious. Uh, we recycle everything we can. Um, we compost. Uh, you know, it's amazing just composting and recycling how much you reduce your trash. You know, we're one, two bags a week and we have two kids. So there's four people in our family and our consumption is very small. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's really something that's important to us is taking care of the environment. Okay, so you're basically like an energy conservationist. Oh yes, very much so. You know, we consume very little power at our house. Um, I feel like, you know, it's a small amount, especially in the summertime. I spend about $90 a month on my power consumption. Okay. That's with air conditioning running in my house. Um, we use a bare minimum amount of water. Um, we have vegetables, you know, so we really it's important to us to be more self-sufficient. And I believe that solar is a way to be more self-sufficient. We're not making power, no. We're making hot water from the sun. Heat. Exactly. It's amazing, you can harness it, you know. And it's my collector that I have, four by eight on my house, and it makes enough hot water to where we're spending about $5 a month on power where we were spending between 40 and 45 dollars a month in power. That's to heat the water? Exactly, yes, exactly. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your system, the parts of it, because we're going to get into all different kinds of solar systems, but just since we're introducing Dean to you guys um, out there on the web, um, let's hear about your system that's on your house. You know, I like it. It's a, a two-tank system. Um, we've got the solar tank, and then we've got a backup water heater. Um, you know, the backup water heater is hooked to power. Solar water heater, only power it consumes is my two pumps, about 10 cents a day. That's to circulate the uh, glycol to the collector? Exactly, to the collector, to the heat exchanger. That point in between is where it costs me 10 cents a day. We are a little bit undersized, we're, we're kind of trying out different ways and I believe that a 4x10 would be better and an 80 gallon water heater I okay. only have a 50 so alright cool yeah well we'll have to look at the performance data on that and this is the end of our first segment with Dean but stay tuned because there will be lots more information in the future thanks for watching 80 gallon water heater I only okay. have a 50 so alright cool yeah well we'll have to look at the performance data on that and this is the end of our first segment with Dean, but stay tuned because there will be lots more information in the future. Thanks for watching. See ya.